What is going on, everybody? How's it going? And welcome back. So, we're back on this uh, limited shift bezel for a 4th Gen 4Runner. Um, this is going to be going in the 2007 Toyota 4Runner Sport Edition with the uh, 4.7 liter V8. Uh, so, I did finish this up. It is actually drying. I actually got some clear coat on it. Um, so, I turned the light on. That light makes it look like a reddish pink. Um, but if I get up really close, you can actually see that it looks three-dimensional. Kind of like on the grill. Um, the light's causing it to uh, not focus. There is actually depth. So right here, doesn't look like there's anything. But you can see that there are little squiggly lines. And there's clear coat all over over this so that's why it's glossy is there's clear coat and in certain lights it does look pink which i'm okay with it kind of looks cool on the back here you can see it's got this dark red it's spidered right there too so turn a different light on it came out pretty cool it's still drying the clear coat is the last layer of clear coat um, is almost completely hard but um, just kind of giving you guys a couple different views of a couple different lights. If I bring the light back here. There you go. That's with the light on the counter. So it does get really dark in color depending on the light. Um, and I noticed it's a totally different color or a different shade with a uh, blue white light so here is a bluish white light as you can see it actually looks a lot darker with this light looks like a darker red with a white light bluish white versus a yellow light kind of like a 4200 no uh 4500 kelvin uh to about 4300 kelvin um was the light i used the first time this one and then those two lights over there so from a distance it definitely does look different if i turn that one off turn this one on it got a little bit brighter red. This is a 4300 to 4500 Kelvin uh, yellowish natural light. And then this one is about a 5800 to 6000 Kelvin bluish white light. They are different. If I Come over here with the bluish white light. The pink hue goes away if you use a blue, uh, bluish white light. Looks more just red. And if I go to this side, this side's actually quite dark. And then if I go up here, there you go does have a little bit of pink undertones but you know it's it's a shade of red so it's gonna have a little bit of pink in it I think it came out pretty good um, I do think that the three-dimensional pattern underneath the clear coat came out really nice
put this light back over here. I turn this one back on. And what I mean is you can't feel all of this. Um, it's all clear coat. So that pattern is actually underneath. Um, for spots like this right here, you can feel it. Uh, because it's a little bit more prominent, like right here. You can feel this, it's more prominent. But for the most part, most of this pattern, you actually can't feel at all. It actually came out really nice. So, just showing you guys um, what I'm doing. This is going to be probably the last video on this one. Um, because I already put, um, believe it was four light coats of clear coat. Um, and I'm going to leave it that way. I'm not going to put any more on it. Um, but it all came out pretty nice. Um, I'm sure that there, there isn't very much clear coat in the center of these holes. It's because I kind of sprayed about 18 to 20 inches away. So it was just a light coat all around it. Um, I do know that there is a couple right here. So there's a little bit of clear coat right there. But on the tops, there isn't. So this should be okay putting the uh, switches in. The switches are kind of snug to begin with. I did put some paint in there. Um, but, you know, because I wanted it all to match. So the switches will be snug when they go in. It's not a big deal. But, uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Just a quick little video. Um, it went from uh, a dingy gray. I was cleaning it up. Um, I then painted it, um, uh, brush painted it, uh, Rust-Oleum Black. And then, um, after I did that, it dried for a couple days. And then I put Claret, uh, Satin Claret Wine from Rust-Oleum on it, and that was sprayed on. And then, uh, I did two coats of that. I didn't really like the, the way it came out. It had this fuchsia pink look to it um i just didn't like that for the interior the it looks good on the grill it looks more of a dark red on the grill for some reason on this it came out this weird pinkish fuchsia color um it was in certain light um like this light right here that is shining on this right now it was really really bright it was this bright bright pinkish red and i just didn't like it and then i put um dark cherry met from dupa color on here it got uh two light coats and then one semi heavy coat and then four coats uh, light coats of clear coat so it actually looks pretty good I like the wrinkling effect. I call it a hammered effect. Um, I've duplicated this effect hundreds of times. Um, and that's just from putting the paint on wet um, a little bit too close or a little bit too wet. And then what happens is if you spray another immediate layer on top of it, the very first coat that was trying to off gas is actually off gassing into the coat that you just put on, which causes the secondary layer, the secondary coat you put on to start cracking and wrinkling. It does that because one layer is trying to off gas into another liquid layer. So that's how that happens. Um, but that's it, guys. Just a quick video. You guys let me know what you think of the clear coat. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys on the next project.